Hi everyone, so Mac OS Ventura is out and one of the great things is I can now use my iPhone as a webcam. And I was using other apps to do this like Epoch and also Neuralcam, but it's nice that they've got this built into Ventura and it works with iOS 16 and a number of compatible phones. And here they are, this is a screen grab from the Apple website and I've got a link below so you can see which ones they are. Now I've got my iPhone here, it's on a tripod, a little tripod that I've got and a little smartphone holder. And I'll put links for these below, but you can also get mounts as well. There's all sorts of different mounts, freestanding, gooseneck and some that actually attach to your Mac as well. Now the only thing I worry about there is on this lid it moving around. So the great thing about having an iPhone as a webcam is the quality of the camera on your phone is much better or usually much better than the webcam built into the computer. And obviously you can change the angle as well which could help and you can demo things. I'm going to show you how this works as well. Now on compatible phones you've also got something called center stage as well. So what that allows you to do is as you move around it follows you. So it's using the ultra wide angle lens and as and it crops in and then as you move it moves that crop with you which is really nice and you're going to see that in a moment. So what you need on here is to make sure that you've got certain things set up on your phone and actually also on the computer here. You need to be on the same network. The same network is useful for all this kind of thing. You need to be signed in using the same Apple ID on both devices and you also need to have the two-factor authentication set up which you can find in your settings on your iPhone. So this is where you will find it. Okay, so once all of that is set up, this works on pretty much anything that you're going to use for your using your calls such as FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, Teams and so on. I'm going to show you those in a moment. I'm predominantly going to use Zoom because that's very popular but I'm going to show you how you can change those cameras as well. So just a little tip with using these, always kind of keep the lens clean as well. That also really does help. So I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to go into Zoom. I'm going to just set up a meeting. There's also something called desk view so you can see something on the desk and then you can then say demo it like something like this. So let's get into it. Let's fire up Zoom. So here we are in Zoom and you can see it's using this camera that I've got. And it knows to connect because simply you just need the phone nearby. And if the phone is nearby and they say if it's mounted but I have moved it around, then it will connect automatically. Now you can see the settings for this and you can see that I've got the blurred background which is portrait mode and also it's kind of highlighted me as well. So if I go into the control center here and go to video effects, I can click and turn these on and off. So center stage is switched on, portrait is on, look at that, switch it back on and there it is. And you've got studio light as well which highlights me so or whoever is in it. So that's kind of useful. Center stage is what happens when you move around. Can you see it's actually following me there and if I stood up and I was still in range or walked around it would keep following me. So it's a very handy thing to have there as well. It's also got desk view. We're going to come back to that in a moment but I've now got all of these set up. I do like center stage. It was available on some of the iPads uh, before so obviously they've brought this over. You can see it's using my camera here. It's telling me which camera it is. And one of the things that can be useful, you might want to plug this in. So if you're thinking about power, you might want to sort out your power management. You don't want the battery to run flat and so on. So the other question you've probably got as well is what happens if someone phones you on your phone? Well, you're going to get this message come up and you could choose to answer it. And when you do, is then going to lose the camera on your call thing here as well. So just bear that in mind. Oh, by the way, the one other thing is your phone has to be locked for this to work. So if your phone is open, just lock it, which is just tapping, pressing the power button and 
then you'll be able to use it. So if you unlock your phone, it disconnects. Okay, so that's just another thing. So here I am, I'm in Zoom, you could see that working and you can choose cameras here because down in the bottom corner, can you see it's actually following me as I look that way, I can click here and choose my FaceTime camera. And you can see I use the other ones here, Epoch Cam, Neural Cam Live. So I did use these, but this is nice because it gives me these effects. I don't have to pay for anything. All those with these were free. Um, like on something like Neural Cam Live, I, if I wanted extras, maybe I would have to pay for those things. So this has got these nice filters in here. And I'm going to show you in a moment how you actually choose the camera if you haven't already done this on your Teams, Skype and FaceTime. So just stick around for that. Okay, so let me just do the desk view now. And what the desk view does is it's going to highlight an area here on the desk and it's also going to be looking as me, at me as well. And it kind of splits it up. And then I can do a share screen, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So let's just click here. I'm going to go here to my video effects. Now, before I do, there is also the mic mode. Let me just click on that. I have got um, different options here. I've got standard, which is what I'm using now. It's also picking up Camtasia, which is what I'm recording on. There's voice isolation, so to try and remove any background noise. And if I didn't have Camtasia running here, I'd also have the option for wide spectrum, which would pick up all sorts of noise around me. So if you've got music that you want to be heard and all that kind of thing, then you would choose wide spectrum. I'm sure for a lot of you, you want to use voice isolation and it would stop, say, the noise of the computer, like the fan running and so on. So you can actually use the microphone from the camera or you could use the camera itself. So, you know, the um, built-in mic here on the computer. So over here, it's telling me that I'm using the MacBook Pro microphone. I could use the microphone from my camera, which is called GS14. And then those settings would be applied to it. Okay, so let me just quickly do this share screen and then come back to the other apps. So let's just go into the control center. Let's just go to video effects here and choose desk view. And when you do, you can see it's got a much wider view. This sort of square, skewed square here, is going to be the area that it's choosing. And I can zoom in on that if I want by just cropping it down like that by using the plus and minus. But I'm going to keep it fairly wide here. So when I start the desk view, you can now see it's coming up with this. But if I now go back to Zoom, share the screen, and you've got share screen on the other apps. Choose the desk view, hit share, and now what you can see is what the camera's doing is it's picking this up here as my desk view, as if it's one different camera. And up here in the corner, it's got me as well. So it's actually taking the camera and splitting it into two different sections, which is really, really very clever. So you've got a good view of me here, and I've got to say that iPhone is always going to do a better job in low light compared to the webcam built into the computer. So let me just stop that share. I'm now going to come out of this. I'm going to go to Teams, FaceTime and Skype and just show you very quickly how you can select them in there. And over here on Teams, what you need to do is just click on this little icon here, the settings, click on that. You get your device settings and here I can choose my camera. And over here, I can choose my microphone as well if I want it to come from the phone as well. So here in Skype, what you can do is down at the bottom, you've got your camera. There's an arrow next to it. You click on that. And over here is where you've got your option to change cameras. And once again, I'm choosing GS14 camera for this. And on FaceTime, I can now just go into video and choose my camera here, which it's already got selected, or I could go to my FaceTime HD camera. And again, I could choose the microphone. I hope that was helpful. I'm certainly going to use this a lot. As I said, I was using this with other apps and I'm going to use this in a moment because I've got a Teams call. So this is really going to help because one thing I find is that particularly in low light, this built in webcam is not great. So I'm going to be using this. So I hope that was helpful for you. 
Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. And please check out my YouTube channel where I have got lots of videos to help you. Take care.